वेलकम टू वन एंड ऑल आई एम वसंता डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस गोपाल स्वामी पीओ कॉलेज माइसूर टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विथ फोर्थ सेशन ऑफ पॉइंटर चैप्टर ऑलरेडी वी एक्सप्लाइंड व्हाट यू मीन बाय पॉइंटर्स व्हाट आर द एडवांटेजेस हाउ टू डिफाइन अ पॉइंटर हाउ टू एक्सेस दैट रिगार्डिंग दैट ऑलरेडी यू केम टू नो वर एज पॉइंटर इज एन वेरिएबल इट स्टोर्स मेमोरी एड्रेस ऑफ another variable bere vand variable do memory address na store maadkolutte then what are the advantages on this pointer it helps to deals with hardware component easy to write the program memory can be utilized properly helps to deal with hardware component efficient program can be written if i know memory concept especially pointer concept memory can be utilized properly in this we can able to perform few operation like we we can able to add an integer value to a pointer we can subtract an integer value to a pointer we can increment we can decrement then which of the operation is not possible here addition of two pointer is not possible multiplication of two pointer is not possible division of two pointer is not possible as multiplication addition division as well as subtraction of two pointers are not possible all these things we explained in the previous class today i am to explain regarding pointers and objects already you came to know pointer is a variable it stores memory address of another variable what is the syntax to declare a pointer variable here first we used to write the data type then u one space star pointer variable pointer variable this is the syntax already you came to know for example int a star a float star b now what is the difference here both are pointers and how i came to know it is a pointer because before that variable then we have star operator from that i came to know that it's a pointer variable whereas in the first case here a is a variable it stores the memory address of another variable of type integer ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಹೇಳುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಆ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಅದು ಇಂಟಿಜರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಡೇಟಾ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಬಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪಾಯಿಂಟರ್ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಮೆಮೊರಿ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನದರ್ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಫ್ಲೋಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಂಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಯು ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ನೋ ನಾವ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಕಮ್ ಟು ನೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ a pointer pointing to an object a pointer pointing to an object is referred as pointer to object here in generally we used to write we used to create a object how to create object class name class name then object name like this format we used to create whereas in pointers and object class name star object then here from this i can able to i can able to create an object of pointer format that is nothing but pointers and object while writing an example for example student is the class name student is the class name then s is a regular object then star sp as an object to pointer now after that the yes p is equals to and percent yes the address of yes object is transferred to pointer object now is it clear then if i want to call the function then i have to write sp arrow function name function name i have to write now is it clear andre idalli one difference baruthe bere functions alli en maartta idvo object dot function name we used to write function name to call the functions and the dot operator use maartta idu regular aagi yavadar function ana call maadbekandre dot operator object name dot function name where inside the bracket if i argument that we will to write otherwise empty bracket we used to write whereas in pointers if i want to call any function then compulsory i have to use arrow operator that is a pointer to object arrow function then function name ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಬೇರೆ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಆಗಿ ಡಾಟ್ ಆಪರೇಟರ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ
ಆರೋ ಆಪರೇಟರ್ ನ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ನಾವ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ನಾವ್ ವಿಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಎ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ನಾವ್ ದಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಆನ್ ದಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಎ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಕಂಟೈನಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಟೈನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ data members following data members register number name and fees also create a member function a member function to read and display display the data display the data using the concept of using the concept of pointers to object pointers to object now all of you listen here what is the aim of this program here the question is create a class containing the following data members a register number name and fees three data members are given one is register number and one more is name and one more is fees also create a member function to read and display here we are not doing any calculation only thing we have to input the values and we have to display the values read and display the data using the concept of pointers to object then which are the data members here we required one is register number and the second one is name and the last one is fees this are the three values we have to import these three values we want to input and then we have to display we are not doing any calculation here we have to just input these three values and we have to display these three values using the concept of pointers to object now for this one now we'll explain the program first as usual start with the header file ash include i wo stream dot h this is a supporting header file for seen as well as see out next ash include conio dot h this is the supporting header file for clear screen as well as get see h function next for a student we want to input its number name and then fees then i am to create a class with the name student now here we have to start with the class the class name here we are given as student student is the class name next in private section in private section declare all the variables first one we require register number register number i am to take it as integer format int register number for register number don't put don't give any space in between it's a single word the integer format register number next one we have name name is a collection of characters that is nothing but string here we cannot declare directly string here then we have to take it as character format the data type here we have to take character name inside the bracket for example i am to write 20 it means that maximum for a name it can take 20 characters and the last one we have float format fees float format fees declare all the variables in private section next in public section declare the functions whereas in this we need only two function one is for input purpose and one more is for display purpose we are not doing any calculation here for the sake the first one is void get data function for input purpose next one more function void 
display function. Then we are not doing any calculation. Then close the class. To close the class, after flower bracket, you have to put semicolon. This is the first part. Next, we have to write the statement of get data function outside the class. How to write? First, we have to take the return type here, void. Void. The class name is student. Next, scope resolution operator. Then get data function. Get data function. We are not doing any calculation here. We are just identifying what is the return type. Then student is the class name. Scope resolution operator get data function. Here don't put semicolon because now we are writing the statement of this function. Next on this. Input all the values. What are the things we have to perform? We have to input all the values. First, see out. Inside the double quotes. Here, insertion operator. Inside the double quotes, write down. Enter register number. Enter register number. To move the cursor next line, end line function. Input that value. See in extraction operator, register number. Next one, now we have to input. That is C out. Insertion operator. Inside the double quotes. Enter name. Enter name. To move the cursor next line. End line function. Now same. Extraction operator name. Next function. We want to input the fees. Then C out. Insertion operator. Enter the fees enter the fees now input that scene extraction operator fees then close this function which I opened this is regarding get data function here we are not doing any calculation we are just input all the values that is rich number name and then fees next we want to display all these three values then display function we have to write. How to write? The return type is void. Next the class name is student. Student. Here write on scope resolution operator. Now display function. Now what we want to do? We want to display all the values one below the another. See out. Inside the double quotes write down. Risk number, the student risk number equals student register number equals. It has to display inside the double quotes, then insertion operator register number. If you want, you can use end line, it's optional, otherwise, all the values will display one after the another. Then, see out insertion operator, we want to display the name. Student name equals. Student name equals. Display the name. Insertion operator name. Display the name. Next, see out. If you want, you can use end lines. It's optional for you. The last one says student fees equals. Fees equals. Display the fees value. Then close this function which you opened now is it clear for all of you we are input all the three values here we are displayed all the three values now what's the next thing we have to create the main program how to create main program that is void main void main now first create an object here we have to create objects to point of format for the sake, while creating object, first you have to take the class name. Here the class name is student. The class name is student. Now we have to create object to pointer format for the sake. First student, then yes. It's a regular object. Then comma star sp. Pointer object. Now clear screen. CLR, yes CR. Clear sin function. Next, here yes p equals ampersand yes. 
द अड्रेस एंड पर्सेंट अड्रेस आपरेटर ना पॉइंटर्स एरू अड्रेस आपरेटर है वो स्टार वो एम पर्सेंट स्टार है इट स्टोर्स अड्रेस आफ् अनदर वेरियबल वर आज एम पर्सेंट स्टोर्स अड्रेस आफ् इट्स ओन वेरियबल द अड्रेस आफ् यस इज ट्रांसफर टू एस पी पॉइंटर आबजेक्ट नाउ इज क्लियर ना वि हेल्प आफ् आबजेक्ट पॉइंटर वि कैन कॉल द फंक्षन हौ टू कॉल द फंक्षन एस पी आरो फंक्षन यु आर् कंपलसरी यू हव् टू यूज आरो सिंबल कीबोर्डल आरो सिंबल इलामती मैनस ग्रेटर दैन सिंबल दिस आरो आपरेटर ना एस पी आरो कॉल द फंक्षन वज द फस्ट फंक्षन दट इस डेटा फंक्षन डेटा फंक्षन ना नेक्स्ट कॉल द सैकेंड फंक्षन एस पी आरो डिस्प्ले फंक्षन डिस्प्ले फंक्षन of here we are not doing any calculation we are just input the values and we are just displaying the value for the sake we does not required compute section only object pointer call the functions with the arrow operator that is get data function and one more is display function then next get ch close the main program which you opened now so okay once again i am to explain this concept whereas i o stream dot h is a supporting header file for scene as well as cout conio dot h is a supporting header file for clear screen as well as get ch function our aim to just display the values of rich number name as well as fees by using pointers to object format for the sake the class name here we are consider as student here in private section declare the variables rich number we are declared as integer format character name whereas character no ga one day one character na tagolute directly we cannot take string here that's why what we used to do char name inside the bracket 20 new bracket alli 20 kotre 20 characters tagolute 10 kotre 10 characters tagolute then char name inside the bracket 20 maximum 20 characters we can able to take here then one more is variable is float that is fees now in public section declare a function void get data function void display function then close the main program close the class whereas here void student get data function for input purpose see out enter rich number input the values see out in output screen what to display enter name then input the name the next in output screen see out enter the fees will input the fees value then we'll close get data function Next in display function, display all the values. That is, see out student register number equal. Display the register number. End line is optional. If you want, you can use. Otherwise, not required. Then student name. Display the name. Student fees. Display the fees. Then close this function. In the main program, create an object to pointer. This is the object to pointer. Then clear screen. The address of object is transferred to object to pointer then call the function with arrow operator that is sp arrow get data function sp arrow display function then get ch then close the main program this is regarding your pointer program once again i am to recall whereas here pointer to object is nothing but we can able to a pointer can pointing to an object refer to as pointer to object here we can able to call the functions with the help of arrow operator now is it clear for all of you next class we will continue with the remaining thing of the same chapter thank you for all of you